Welcome to Unfreeze Your Science, a podcast powered by CryoPDP, a temperature-controlled logistics company for the life sciences and healthcare industries. And now, it's time to unfreeze. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me to join the Cryo PDP podcast and Freeze Your Science. I was very pleased to receive the invitation to talk more about what is my passion, clinical trials, the role of a nurse in clinical trials, and the importance of this for my patients and society, a topic that deserves to be addressed and highlighted, in my, in my opinion. My name is Sara Machado Mermé. I'm 36 years old and I have a degree in biology and a degree in nursing. Although this year I'm starting a new challenge as a clinical research manager, for the last five years I have worked as a nurse in the dermatology department and as a study nurse. I've been involved in 10 clinical trials uh, in these last five years, all in the field of dermatology. Most have been randomized, placebo-controlled, phase 2 or phase 3 trials for biological therapies for autoimmune diseases such, such as psoriasis, atopic dermatitis and hydradenitis suppurativa. So let me start by explaining what a clinical trial research nurse is. They are highly skilled professionals who are responsible for coordinating and running various aspects of the clinical trial. They act as a liaison between patients, healthcare providers, and research teams, ensuring seamless communication and collaboration. This includes working with patients undergoing experimental treatments, understanding the nuances of clinical trials, designs, and working with multidisciplinary teams to ensure the success of the trial. In a clinical trial, nurses act as the patient advocates, providing support, education, and a compassionate presence. They also facilitate communication between the patients, the doctors, the clinical research associates, and the sponsors, ensuring a cohesive and patient-centered approach in every aspect. Clinical research nurses are driven by a passion for improving healthcare through evidence-based practice. The motivation to participate in a clinical research for a nurse stems from a commitment to advancing medical science, improving patient outcomes, and contributing to the development of innovating therapies. Clinical trials are the foundation of innovation and progress in medicine paving the way for innovating treatments and excellent care for our patients. Within this intricate web of scientific research, nursing plays a key role in ensuring its success. Here with you, I would like to explore the importance of our role, highlighting the diverse contributions that benefits both the institution and the participants involved. As nurses, we offer a unique combination of clinical differentiation and compassionate care, creating a respectful and supportive environment for our participants. Our role goes beyond administering medication and monitoring viral signs. We become the patient caregiver, the key element in educating the patient addressing their concerns, managing frustrations, and fostering confidence in the team and the study protocol. In this way, we act as a link in the team, ensuring the participants remain involved and present throughout the research, contributing to the success of the project. Collecting accurate and reliable data is key to the success of clinical trials. As nurses, we play a vital role in ensuring strict adherence to research protocols. Our meticulous attention to the, de the detail and understanding of the intricacies of trial design 
contributes to the accuracy and reliability of the data collected. By consistently implementing the procedures described, we can strengthen the credibility of the results obtained, this way making them more robust and applicable to wider healthcare contexts. Clinical trials require a multidisciplinary approach to manage the many aspects of scientific research and patient care. We act as an essential link between the various healthcare professionals, ensuring effective communication and proper coordination between the different members of the team. Our ability to work with the physicians, pharmacists, and other healthcare professionals creates a global patient-centered approach. In this collaborative spirit, fosters an environment of innovation and, of course, ensures that all of aspects of the patient's well-being are considered, and it's the main uh, focus of our work as a nurse. The safety of participants in clinical trials, of course, is paramount. And as for the nurses, we play a central role in monitoring and managing potential adverse events. Our expertise in recognizing subtle changes in a patient's condition, coupled with the ability to provide immediate care, contributes to the overall safety and well-being of the participant. By acting as a primary element of safety, we nurses instill confidence in both the institution that are conducting the trial and the participants who are involved in the trial. The quality of care has a direct impact on the reputation of the institution conducting the research. Institutions that prioritize a comprehensive multidisciplinary team, including a nursing team with valid clinical trial skills, not only attract more participants, but also build a reputation for ethical, patient-centered research. This positive image can lead to increased opportunities for collaboration, founding and recognition in the scientific community, ultimately enhancing the institutional credibility in the field of medical research. Clinical research nurses uh, may encounter ethical concerns related to participant vulnerability, confidentiality and the potential potential for undue influence. Addressing these concerns requires a nuanced understanding of ethical principles and constant vigilance from our part as a nurse. Transpar transparent communication is key to managing the expectations of patients and their families. Clinical research nurses provide realistic information about the trial, the possible outcomes and challenges to foster trust and inform decision-making from our participants. It is a point of vulnerability if the patient's participation doesn't meet their expectations or, in the cases of adolescents, those of their parents, of course. The natural tendency is to take out their frustrations on the staff member closest to them. And in this case, of course, nurses are the staff member who are most closely to them. But it's sometimes that we as a nurses are very used to dealing with. It's a tool that's very developed in our daily practice. And sometimes we don't even realize we are using it because it's so natural to us. So I remember, of course, one case where there was a relapse and the patient was convinced that she was on a placebo and wanted to give up of the study. But as we uh, or had already built up a relationship, I helped her to realize that it may just be that she was on a different arm and not on a placebo, and so she kept going on that specific trial. Uh, and after the finish the trial, a change uh, a change occur, and we ended up with a very happy thank you note because she was able to go to their wedding without any visible damage to her face and without using any makeup. So she was so good and happy with the result that she wanted everyone to see it. It was a very rewarding moment for me as a nurse from the team and for all of the members of the team, of course. 
So we can conclude that participants in uh, research offers nurses many opportunities to make a positive difference in the lives of participants while developing innovating solutions for the future of medicine. The importance of nursing in clinical trials extends beyond direct patient care to include multidisciplinary collaboration, patient safety, the accuracy of the data generates, and ultimately the long-term enhancement of the institution reputation. Nursing is uh, emerging as an indispensable element in clinical trials, embodying the essence of patient-centered care and contributing significantly to the success of innovation innovating in medicine. This unique perspective highlights the altruistic vocation of nursing, which goes far beyond the performance of clinical tasks to include the broader mission of being the team member responsible for conducting the trial according to good practice and applicable legal and regulatory requirements. So it requires a great deal of study and dedication from our part often in an unpaid overtime, and basic training in this area is scarce and often poorly communicated, so we have to dig in. In this constantly evolving landscape of medical research, recognition and investing in the crucial role of nursing is fundamental to achieving a significant and lasting impact on health outcomes. In conclusion, nursing in clinical trials is a dynamic and challenging field that combines compassionate patient care with rigorous research practice. The role of clinical research nurses is central to ensure the ethical conduct of trials, meeting the needs of patients and advancing medical knowledge for the benefit of all. I would also like to offer a panorama of our country in the landscape of clinical trials. In recent years, there has been a significant increase in the number and sample size of clinical trials in Portugal, covering different therapeutic areas and clinical research centers. Portugal has several health and clinical research centers accredited for the development of clinical trials from phase one to phase four. The centers are equipped with the latest technology allowing clinical trials to be carried out and daily clinic, collaboratory and research activities to be developed in the various therapeutic areas. In many healthcare institutions, medical facilities are organized to promote a balance between clinical practice and clinical research. Many of our centers in Portugal have dedicated clinical investigation centers, teams that follow good clinical practice, promote investigator-driver clinical tri trials within the institution and support the pharmaceutical industry in conducting their clinical trials. The clinical research teams are highly skilled and work in European and global research networks with leading experts in specific medical fields. There are some therapeutic areas of excellence, such as oncology and neurology, and these two main areas of excellence combine a unique value proposition, including dynamic infrastructures, experienced research, and access to patients for the conduct of clinical trials in these therapeutic areas. About oncology in the main metropolitan areas and those with highly population density like Lisbon, like Porto or Coimbra, there are specialized care centers that promote the development of clinical research in conjunction with healthcare, making it possible to identify patients for participation in clinical trials. These specialized centers are also have data management systems that support feasibility analysis for conducting clinical trials and many eventually allow them to be used for specific studies such as pragmatic clinical trials. There are also specific rare diseases like uh, with a rare relative highly prevalence in our country, such as paramyloidosis, like little fat disease, for which Portugal has a unique valuable population. So Portugal has worked closely with the relevant national and local authorities to ensure competitive clinical trial timelines at national and institutional levels. 
Only by having and meeting competitive timelines, it is possible to have a steady flow of clinical trials in our healthcare facilities. For this reason, Portugal is committed to continuous optimizing our process and reducing potential barriers and difficulties. Uh, if you are listening and asking yourself, why should I enter a clinical trial? I will say to contribute to clinical research. By participating in a clinical trial, you are helping to advance scientific research, knowledge of the disease and the development of safe and effective new treatments. You are helping follow up and monitoring to minimize the risk of taking part in a trial. Participants are monitored by a research team and clinical trial support professionals to ensure that good clinical practice is followed at all times. Your participation is, can contribute to better knowledge and about therapies that may benefit future patients with the same pathology, the same disease in Portugal and worldwide. So as a nurse, it's essential to uh, be part of the team and Uh, be proud of that team and helping patients enroll the, the clinical trials and uh, being safe along the clinical trials as it has a clinical trial of success. If you enjoyed this section and would like to share more about clinical trials in Portugal and Europe and if you are passionate as a nurse for the clinical trial team Please feel free to contact me on my LinkedIn page and my address. Thank you for listening and bye-bye. Thank you for listening. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned and discover more about the work of our guest in the description. Unfreeze Your Science, a podcast powered by CryoPDP. PDP.